So I am really surprised by the amount of legendary clothing pieces that you can find in Cyberpunk right now. Like there's so many styles that you can complete to the point that, well, you can basically play as anything you want and still get really awesome legendaries. Of course, all of these are going to be absolutely free. So in this video, we are going to go with a really awesome street kid legendary kind of outfit that um, of course is going to be really awesome for all of you street kid kind of life path players out there. So let's jump right into it. It. and as always if you enjoyed this video at any point it would be super awesome if you also left a like on it by the way guys before jumping in we finally did it we finally found the corporate evening shoes for our set so now that the previous set that we made with the corporate outfit is finally complete and i will have to give a huge shout out to true fire over on twitter because he actually showed me this location so now i am rolling in with a full-on corporate outfit but um, basically you will find it on this side of the map somewhere in the eastern part of it it's basically going to be between these two buildings right here and if you head over there you're going to notice that there's a bunch of ruined cars maybe even up in flames and in the middle of them there's going to be one of these bodies that actually has the legendary shoes now in order to do this i'm not sure how it is going to be for you but i needed to complete the side quest called i fought the law which also brings you in this location at some point during it so basically you have to help a detective solve a murder case and eventually you're going to reach this place and once you finish the entire quest chain which isn't really that long you are going to see these vans appearing on this location right here oh and by the way you might want to do a quick save before for looting these bodies as it's going to change the number of modding slots that these items might have so it's going to be a really great method to farm pieces with multiple mod slots so you can become way more stronger but with that being said and done let's go over the corpo street kid style which of course um, has a couple of options over here one of which is full on legendary while the other one might use a rare but I might even argue that it's one of the best looking jackets in the game even though there's no legendary version you know it so let's begin with the pants like how do you get the pants well the first piece is going to be on the north side right here basically in the middle of Watson and you're going to notice that there's this building with a big number 12 on it and a bunch of structures with some stairs in front of it so what you're going to want to do from this point on is to just make your way up these stairs and then there's going to be a fence just jump over it and from this point on you're going to notice that there's a bike right here right next to these stairways that lead all the way up so you will want to take these stairs go all the way up at the top and here is where you will encounter a netrunner's body so just loot it and this is going to give you the neotech pants that kind of look like this so um full on black matte right there with some shiny parts as well it looks really awesome and i think it complements the outfit really well now the next piece of clothing is going to be the samurai 2020 shirt the legendary samurai 2020 shirt and you actually get this from a side mission that you can complete really close to Jig Jig Street. So it's gonna be right here in the eastern part of the town on this side of the map. You're going to know that um, here is where you find the street but you're going to want to actually head up a little bit to the right side of it on this pair of stairs that kind of bring you to the ground level. So once you reach over there you're going to see that there's this singer that well plays a tune of the samurai band but of course Sir Johnny will also appear telling you to listen to the tune. Now all you need to do right here is to just talk with the character in the area like the first ones are going to be in uh, this uh, in this restaurant where you can go in and speak with somebody that gives you a detail about a shopkeeper that sells um, samurai band related items so you will have to go over there speak with that character just follow the dialogues and eventually he is going to open up his shop and inside the shop is where you can go ahead and purchase the samurai 2020 tour t-shirt of course coming in with four modding slots i definitely recommend going in and purchasing this way earlier in the game if you want to not spend like almost 20 eddies as i've done right here so yeah if you get this at the lower level just go ahead and buy these right off the bat and this also brings us to a really awesome pair of glasses that will work really well with your character and with this outfit so this is going to be located in an alleyway on this side of the map right here so it's going to be again in in Watson but a little bit into the center southern region of it so just make your way through the alleyway up until you see this gang and go to the left side of it until you see this police car between these blocks so here is where you will see a dead cop's body and onto that body is where you will find these really awesome pair of 
hollow tinted badge goggles that you can immediately apply to your character. They kind of look like this and in my opinion they complement the outfit really well, it kind of fits in with that street kid kind of um, style and of course again go ahead and reload until you get more mod slots and maybe even more mods that are better like the 30% or the 15% critical chance that I got on them. This brings us to the fourth piece which is gonna be of course a pair of really awesome looking shoes. Now you get these in the Arasaka center so you're going to want to make your way over there and the location is going to be south of the waypoint in the city center so right here on this street at the lowest level. I'm here between a gap in the wall you will see that there is a metal door that needs opening up using technical ability so you only need like five points to open this up but once you do that behind this electrical grid you will encounter the tacky shoes that uh, are upon this body but unfortunately these are going to be level 32 so this is the only street kid style kind of pair of shoes that I was able to find around it is level 32 so if anybody has a legendary pair like this maybe with a more colorful look that you can get at an earlier level definitely let me know in the comments down below but otherwise, it looks pretty awesome, it complements the outfit really well and it will fit even better with the next piece on the list. So this is going to be the rocker vest that personally fits really well with that Johnny Silverhand or Samurai um, shirt that we got earlier. So it goes really, really well with that one. Now you will find this actually really close to V's apartment, it's going to be right here on to the right side of it, so basically not too far off from that. So at the street level you're going to notice that there's a bunch of stairs leading to the side of a bunch of buildings so these are basically the stairs that you will need to follow so just go over there climb them and eventually you're going to see that it kind of splits and you will want to take the one that brings you to the left side in front of what I presume to be some kind of bar or some other type of establishment with um, this bouncer in front of it but on the ground you will also notice that there is a rock star kind of character that apparently is dead and you can loot its body for that really awesome looking rockers vest and a really Really cool looking golden cowboy hat so definitely go ahead take them both but of course if you take that vest you're going to make your character look something like this and the look is almost complete it already looks really awesome like this of course it's a bit kind of dark if I might say so with the exception of that red tint over there but if you want to combine it with something that is way more flashy then you're going to want to make some concessions because this is gonna bring us to unfortunately the only rare jacket in the game I was able to find to look like this. So if anybody finds the variant of this jacket that is of legendary quality, definitely let me know down below. But in the meantime, as I've said in yesterday's video, you actually get this as a crafting recipe from this shop right here. So again, you can find this really close to V's apartment. It's basically on the left side of V's apartment, a little bit on the top over there on the map. But if you go into it, it's gonna cost about 3000 eddies and you can buy the recipe and just craft as many of these as you want and it is going to give you this really awesome let's just say replica of Johnny's silver hand jacket but instead it's going to have the yellow tint on it which honestly looks way way better so yeah this is it with the outfit of course there's a ton more clothes coming in there's also a special nomad slash fixer type of outfit that I'm also rolling with so I'm gonna leave that for a different video but in the meantime thank you so much for watching and as always if you find any other pieces of legendary quality that definitely let me know down below and I'll see you guys next time.